Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Vivaldi web browser, version 6, which is now the latest stable release, which rolled out earlier today on the 18th of April 2023. Now this is a jam-packed release. There is plenty going on, and Vivaldi have packed three new features, numerous improvements, bug fixes, and um, changes into this latest release. And for today's video, we are going to focus on the three new features as to not make this video too long and drawn out. Now, first of all, um, if you are running Windows, um, if you'd like to see if you have this latest um, version upgrade, as always, we head to the menu, help, check for updates, and this will um, update the browser if it hasn't done so already. And just to have a quick look on the About page at the latest version and build of the browser and the Chromium platform. Now the browser is bumped up to version 6.0.2979.11 and um, because it's based on the open source Chromium platform also gets the latest release of Chrome version 112. Now with that all out of the way and um, the first new feature is that the themes editor now makes it easy to replace the toolbar button icons with your own customized and custom icons. And to do this, um, it's quite simple. We head to the settings, head over to the themes page, and yeah, you click on new theme. And then you click on the icons button. And yeah, you'll see you have all the different components and features of the browser. And if you click on any of those, you can actually change the default icon um, to each of those components for the toolbar um, to your own custom icon. And for today's video, I'm gonna focus on the downloads button in the top right. Um, of my toolbar. Now it goes without saying that obviously you would down, need to download some sort of icon pack, which I have already done. And to ch change my download button, I just click on that little tab and there's my icon open. And you can see that's now changed that uh, to my own custom icon. And you can do that with all the different um, navigation features and toolbar icons as mentioned. And to put everything back to default, you just click on remove custom image and that pops everything back to how it was previously. Now over and above that, um, sticking with themes, you'll also find more themes with custom icons uh, in Vivaldi's themes gallery, which you can get to by clicking on more themes. And just to make this simple and easy for reference, I've already bookmarked that themes page and I will leave a link to this page down below. And um, yeah, you'll find more themes with actual custom icons built into those themes. And believe it or not, uh, there's even a Windows 95 theme uh, for Vivaldi after upgrading to version 6. So that would be interesting. And as mentioned, I'll leave this page down below. And over and above that, um, your themes are also shareable. So you can export your theme with your custom icon set on the, Viv on the Vivaldi themes gallery um, to share with other users. And to do this, you just click on export theme if you have chosen a theme and you can actually save that theme to your local drive which means you can share that with others as mentioned. Now the second new feature is I would consider to be the key highlight for the version upgrade to version 6 where you can now organize tabs with workspaces which is this feature in the top left which is enabled by default. Now according to Vivaldi workspaces are like different rooms of your home each with a different purpose. And just like you organize your rooms at home, you can keep the rooms in your browser organized. You can now focus on a single project at a time by grouping tabs in one place with workspaces. And they give a couple examples. So you can create workspaces for productivity, social media, news, shopping, and then open those related tabs within those workspaces. And this allows you to easily switch between different sets of tabs and keep your workflow organized. And this is very similar to what has rolled out um, to the Edge web browser as I have posted on. So it seems that these Chromium based web browsers are all starting to roll out a workspaces feature now. So to um, create a new workspace and um, we head up to workspaces, click on that and you click on new workspace. And yeah, you get new workspace with one tab. Just to keep it simple, I'm just going to click on new workspace and I'm going to click on the icon and I'm going to change that to a smiley face. So you can change that to emojis or different icons and I'm going to call that new workspace um, Vivaldi for today's video. And once you've done that, click on create and there we have our new Vivaldi workspace. Now um, to add um, pages and tabs to that, I'm just going to open up a couple of tabs and I'm going to just open up some web pages pertaining to the browser 
just to keep it simple for today's video. So you'll see now that there's my Vivaldi workspace. And if I go back to the start page, if I click on that workspace, there's the three tabs that I opened. And if I go and create another workspace, I'm just going to keep that a default new workspace. Um, you can also see that um, you can do things like you can move that tab to a, another workspace. So to my new workspace. Um, so I can move all those tabs in, a, in that particular workspace to another workspace of my choice. And if I head back to one of those workspaces, I can rename that workspace. I can delete that workspace. I can copy all links and I can even hibernate that workspace to save system resources if you are not using that workspace and that will just take a bit of a load off your system and hibernate that workspace which I actually think is a nice move uh, in the right direction and over and above that a quick mention you can also um, save tab stacks and tab tiling using your uh, different workspaces if you didn't know and just a quick overview of what tab stacks are all about and they allow you to stack your tabs on top of each other to save space on the tab bar and I have posted on that previously and tab tiling displays all tabs of a stack in the same browser window so you can actually now save your tab stacks and your tab tiling as well in your different workspaces so and um, that's rolling out now in version 6 and over and above that um, Vivaldi says pertaining to workspaces you can combine workspaces with more of Vivaldi's um, features like keyboard shortcuts, mouse gestures, and command chains to navigate your workspaces smoothly. And um, as mentioned, the workspaces is enabled by default. So if you want to turn off the feature, it's quite simple. We head back to the settings and we click on, this time we click on tabs. And yeah, you'll see if you head down to tab features, um, enable workspaces, you can see close tabs and you can see it's gone. And if we just head back to settings, tabs, we can enable workspaces again. And there you can see workspaces is back. So um, it is rolling out by default, but you have the option to turn that on and turn that off. And then a quick mention of the third new feature is regarding Vivaldi Mail. Um, and if you are using the mail, which is built into the Vivaldi web browser, there's now drag and drop support. So and Vivaldi Mail now gives you the ability to drag and drop mails between folders in addition to methods of moving mails such as context menu. So that's a nice new feature, dragging and dropping between your different folders, which I also think is a nice move in the right direction. And then over and above that, um, if we head to the change log from version 5.7, which was the um, previous version, um, to the latest change, change log to version 6, as mentioned, a lot going on, and we've gone through some of the key new features. And uh, you can just click um, on the Vivaldi releases. And by the way, I'll, I'll also leave a link to this page down below. Because over and above those new features, um, we get the change log. And as mentioned, there is a lot going on. So yeah, you can see change log from 5.7 to, 5 to 6. Um, these are the three new features. And then there's uh, improvements to the address bar, downloads, extensions, language, Linux, um, for Mac OS as well, notifications, panels, quick command search, you get the idea. So as mentioned, I'll leave a link to this change log down below. Too much to get into in one video, um, but a lot going on. So if you have experienced any issues or problems, make sure you get this update sooner than later. So that's it. Vivaldi 6 now available. And as mentioned, I would consider the workspaces to be the key highlight in this latest release. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.